Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be going through how you can combine multiple Excel files into a single file in Excel. To do this, we're going to be using a feature called Power Query, which is a very useful tool that allows you to connect and import data from things such as Excel files, and from there we're able to shape and manipulate the data to suit our needs, and finally we're going to be able to create things like pivot table reports that we can then show our audiences. And with that said, let's get into the video. In this example, we're going to be creating a pivot table report that shows timesheet information in a given year. Here on the desktop, we have a folder called timesheets. And if we open that up, we can see what files are contained within it. What we see are timesheets for each month spanning from January 2023 all the way till June 2023. What we also have is an Excel file called Combined Timesheets, which is the file that we'll be using in this video to combine all of these monthly timesheets together. The last file in this folder is a Word document that contains instructions on how others can use the Combined Timesheets Excel file, because let's be real, I don't want to be the only one here that knows how to combine multiple Excel files forever. And having instructions on how to do stuff like this will benefit you in the future when it comes time to turning over your work to someone else. So that's a bit of an overview of what's in this folder. Let's take a look at one of the timesheet files. So let's take a look at January. So in this file, we see that there's an Excel table. And by clicking the table design tab, what we'll see is that the table name is called timesheet. And in this Excel table called timesheet, we have columns such as employee name, department, week ending, regular hours, overtime hours, and total hours. Now let's take a look at another file. Let's take a look at, say, April 2023. Now that we have the April 2023 file open, what we can see is that the table name is also timesheet, as well as it contains the exact same column headers. All right, so let's get on with combining these timesheets. So let's close these files and then open up the combined timesheets file. Now that we have the file open, I'm going to go up to the data tab and then within the get and transform group, I'll select get data and then from file. This will open up some more options. And because we want to connect to a folder, I'm going to select from folder. This will bring up the file explorer, which will then select the folder from. So here's our timesheets folder, and then I'll click open. From here, we can see all of the files that are contained in the folder, which is exactly what we saw earlier. Here are the Excel files that we want to combine, the current file that's open right now, and that instructions Word document. Now, we need to remember that we're gonna be combining only the timesheet files together. So we're actually gonna have to transform our data in order to exclude the combined timesheets file as well as the update instructions file. So with that, let's go ahead and transform our data. This will bring us to the query editor. From here, we can see the query name here on the left, the content of the folder in the middle, and the query settings on the right that includes the name of the query and the applied steps. The only step that we have here so far is the source step, and that is literally connecting to the folder on my desktop. First thing that we're going to do is filter out all the files that we don't want to combine. So we know we don't want to combine a Word document, so under the extensions column, I can click this button and uncheck this extension. That will exclude the Word document, and then the next filter output is in the name. I'm going to uncheck the combined timesheets file name. So now all that's left is the monthly timesheets. Now we're ready to combine the files. So to combine the files, you click this button here, and now we see a combined files pop up appear. On the left side, we have the Excel table called timesheet and the worksheet called employee timesheets. And on the right side, we can see a preview of what the data looks like. We want to combine all of the Excel tables called timesheet. So we have the table selected. I'm just going to hit the OK button. This will create a series of transformations, which we can see up here, 
as well as provide additional steps to the Applied Steps section. So now we've successfully combined the Excel files in Power Query, let's go ahead and load this result into Excel as a pivot table report. To do this, I'll go to the Home tab and then click on Close and Load. Then click on Close and Load 2. And from the options available, I'll click Pivot Table Report. Then click OK. So now we can create a pivot table that shows something like total hours per month. So I'm going to put department under the rows section, week ending in the column section, and then total hours under values. There are many different ways to work with pivot tables. So if you're interested in learning more about them, I have a video about it up here at the top right of this video. Okay, so let's say that a couple of months have gone by and we want to add more timesheet data to our report. First, let's do a recap of how this query works. So to go back in, we can go up to the data tab and click on queries and connections and then double click the timesheets query. If we take a look at the source step, we can see that this pivot table is based on all of the files within the folder timesheets. So really, all we need to do is add more timesheet data to the folder and our pivot table should pick it up. So let's go ahead and do that. So going back to the desktop, I have some timesheets for July 2023 and August 2023. So what we need to do is select these files and then drag them and move them into the timesheets folder. Now that they're in the folder, we can go back to Excel and refresh our pivot table. So here's our pivot table without July and August, and what I'll do is right click and refresh. Now we can see that July and August was added successfully. And from here on out, all you need to do is add more and more files to the folder, which will then get picked up by the pivot table report. And that's how you combine multiple Excel files into a single file in Microsoft Excel using Power Query. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button down below and consider leaving a comment for any topics that you want me to cover in future videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.